Hey there, welcome and welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good out there today. Um, today I'm going to be listening to some more Seven Spires with their song Almost Town. This was requested by Matt Allen. Uh, and this is a relatively new release. It was only released about a week or about a month ago. Um, and I'm excited to see what they're doing, what their new music is about. Um, I know their drummer left recently is, and I'm, I'm wondering if this is new since he left or is this like one of the last things he did with them. Um, I know I've really enjoyed this band. I've really enjoyed listening to this band. They're one of the few American bands I'm really listening to um, on my channel right now, and which excites me because I have a better chance of maybe seeing them. They're actually, I saw an um, alert come up that they're actually going to be playing um, a festival in Colorado, which is that's too far away for me to go, but that means they're ready to tour, which gets me excited. And since I'm on, you know, relatively close to the East Coast, and that's where they're from up in Boston. Um, hopefully they'll come down the coast a little ways, come down here to um, Tennessee. I will go see them 15 times if they want to play 15 shows here in the area. Um, I'm really excited to get to see this band live, and I think this may be the, of all the bands that I'm found on my, on my channel, this may be the one I have the best chance of catching around here relatively soon. So I would love for them to tour around this area because I would love to see the, these guys live. They are absolutely fantastic. Um, but anyways, uh, let me... Um, oh, I forgot to do something. Sorry, you're getting a little live look at what I do. Although you can't see it on the screen. Um, I forgot to bring up their um, wiki page so I can... Because I'm still getting to know their names. Um, Where's that? There's, I'm still getting another names. Adriana, I know I, I know her name, and then there's um, Jack and Peter, and they still don't have on their on their Wikipedia Wikipedia page still doesn't have a current drummer, but that's okay. Um, if this was still Chris in this song, he's an amazing drummer, so I'll definitely like what's going on. But let me um, oh remind you, sorry, y'all are getting a really really rough one here. Um, I do have a Patreon. Um, are I professional? <laughs> Don't you want to pay to watch me <laughs> do stuff? Um, but I do have a Patreon. Link will be down in the description. Most of my reaction videos go up there at least a day in advance. Um, the If you join at the Blades tier, you get two Patreon shoutout requests every month. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter how obscure it is. Um, if you like, love it, I want to watch it. And I, if I remember right, Seven Spires may, I think they were, pay, came out originally as a patron shout out request, which I very much appreciate being introduced to this band. Um, even, but even if you just want to join, want to help out a little bit at the $1 tier, you can do that. And just for joining, you get a patron shout out request. If you want to donate a little bit more directly, I do have a pay, uh, PayPal and a Cash App down in the description, or you can donate through YouTube's Super Thanks. Uh, any of y'all's donations really does mean the world to me, and it helps. That's the main thing. Um, it really does help me and my family. I really appreciate anything y'all can do that, to help out. I, I understand times are tough for everybody. Believe me, I, I get that. And, I definitely don't want you donating if you can't afford it. But if you have a little bit extra and you enjoy what I do, I, it, it means the world to me. It really does. Thank you so much. Um, but anyways, I'm excited for this. So let me switch over. And let's go. So here we go with Seven Spires, Almost Town. Great use of halftime. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was talking when that happened, but there was a great dissonant, you know, they dropped to a, um, a dissonant tone in there, which really worked. That was cool. I love, 
when listen to it when they drop into the um, halftime and there's you know there's the um, synthesizer and it drops dissonant for a second which is sounded really cool right there so good Ooh, listen to that bass. Cold stone beneath my feet, wrapped in furs and dressing gown. November night caressed my face, the only font I try allow. Moonlight floods my bedroom through the window where I gaze. From far above the mad and merry crowd. Candle Okay, let's, there's a, I went much longer than I usually do without talking, but I was about to stop it and then she kicked into the chorus and it was just too good not to, too good to stop. Um, I love what she's doing with her voice. It's so, most of it was like really sweet and beautiful and like, like, um, I don't know, it, it's hard to describe, very sweet is a good way to think of it. And then there toward the end of the first verse, she didn't go, you know, harsh like she can, but there was just a, her voice turned just slightly with her, it just put an edge on it that took away the the cuteness or, you know, um, or the innocent part of it and just gave it an edge. I really enjoyed that. Um, there's a lot going on with Peter and the bass. He is killing it. There's, during that quiet part, the guitar had completely backed out and um peter was absolutely killing it really cool um the drums of course chris i think that's chris is he's killer he's a great drummer um i i can't wait to find out who they get as a new drummer but looking back on their older music the you know the music from here you know before now has been really great he's he's a really great drummer and jack jack the guitars are really um they're subdued in this one they're not as forward as some of the other songs of theirs i've heard but what he's doing is really interesting um really cool i'm enjoying this a lot and the chorus is very catchy Okay, when the that the synthesizer going into that um, like minor key almost gives it a phantom feel, just for you know the the instrumental is going on and you can there it's got the heavy um, organ sound and then it goes into that dissonance and it sounds very phantom like really really cool. Um, Peter, I, I mean um, Adrian is amazing she's a, just a fantastic singer but i feel like peter's the star of this song right now i'm loving what he's doing on the bass Is that edgy? 
little bit of anger without dropping into the gutter or the harsh. Hold on, I want to go back to that. There's a little section of drum there. First of all, the um, the chorus is like I said it before, catchy, not in a like pop catchy feel, but the the chorus is very. Once they kick into it, you're just you're there. You're, you've got to be with it. It it just pulls you in and pulls you along almost. <laughs> I want to say it's very similar, almost to like an a anime theme song style in that, in that, um, in the, um, the chorus, specifically the chorus. Now, I don't watch a lot of anime, very little, you know, Ruby is pretty much the only anime I watch regularly, but that feels like it could fit sound-wise into... Uh, you know a ruby episode very you know a big battle scene very cool but watch what chris is doing on the drums um is it's on it it, it was something he did on his ride cymbal it he, he's playing like a, a rhythm on his ride, ride cymbal with both hands something you'd normally if you're going to do that on the cymbal you're going to do it on the hi-hat but he was doing it on the ride cymbal and it just for some reason, it caught my ear, and I was like, oh, that it excited me when he did that. That was cool. Right here. So good. Oh yeah. Holy shit. Hold on, we're going back uh, quite a ways. Um, first of all, when she first went guttural, wow, that 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 excited me. That that got me going. Um, when she went guttural, the, first of all, the visuals. For I wanted to mention this castle. The castle they're at. It looks similar to the one in the picture above me. Um, and it looks, some of the rooms look similar to some of the other videos I've watched. Is, where is this castle? And uh, is it up in the Northeast so that they're, they have easy access to it? Um, I'm, I don't, I can't imagine they'd use it this much if it was overseas, if they're based out of Boston. And can I visit this castle? It's cool. But anyways, um, <laughs> the visuals, when she's sitting there at the table ripping up the black rose, and they go to the two, when she went guttural, which was badass. We're going to get to that again. Um, I love the dichotomy. She's screaming and growling, ripping at this um, rose. At the same time, they're flashing back and forth between her and the whole band, laughing and having a good time around the table. I love that dichotomy. That's really cool. You know, this is what's going on. 
outside and this is what's going on inside at the same time. Very cool visuals. And then that the vocalizations that just happened and the instrumentation too don't get me wrong the instrumentation was a was badass but when she, where she went vocally blew me away blew me away i loved it i loved every second of that so let's go back into that and went into the badass solo for the jack was doing <sighs> this, okay this this may be my favorite song of there so far this is badass China. This is the external and the internal at the same time. Okay, that was bad ass. Holy fuck. That was so good. I gotta leave it going. Hold on. Okay, I don't think there's gonna be anything else. Done. Okay. Um, wow. Okay, so that was Seven Spires with Almost Town. That blew me away. That was badass. That just, that was killer. Damn. The, that whole, the second half of that song, the first half was badass. I loved the um, the change-ups between the verses and the chorus. The chorus, um, the organ, like I said, that dissonant cool section. The but the second half of that song absolutely blew me away. That was amazing. I loved that song. That was damn. That's I'm gonna be listening to that for the next several days, if not weeks, if not years. That was a badass song. God, I can't wait to see these guys live. They are going to be badass live. Um, <laughs> I obviously love this song. If you guys like this video, give it a like. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, do me a favor, jump down in the comments. Even if you don't have anything specific to say, you know, say hi, throw up some horns, especially for this. This deserves all the horn, <laughs> all the devil horns you can find. Um, it helps with the algorithm, it tells YouTube that people are interacting with me and maybe they should push me out to a wider audience. I really appreciate all y'all's help um, growing my channel. Um, it was exciting to get to 3,000 subscribers and I can't wait to get to 4,000. Um, I'm excited for this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it and I will talk to you next time.